hey guys Jean Entra here you're welcome to my channel once again in today's video we're going to learn how to create jump cuts within Filmora for your videos um, if you're not already subscribed to me go ahead and hit the subscribe button on this channel we typically talk about side hustles because being broke is not cute but occasionally I dip my feet into teaching you the technical side of you know online business and the technical things that you have to do because I enjoy that part too and to Today, I'm going to show you how to create simple jump cuts. Now, there are definitely more sophisticated software out there. This is just the way that I personally do it. And I have to apologize ahead of time because because I'm running both Filmora and my recording software, the video plays a little slow. And so you may not see the jump cut as quickly as I want you to see it. But I'm going to demonstrate to you how exactly I create jump cuts within Filmora more now I'm gonna delete this piece of video right here um, because I think I can demonstrate it with this video so make sure that within Filmora you have your video selected um, and it's orange if you are not selected if it's not selected you cannot create a jump cut so make sure it's orange first of all and then we're going to move to a place where I want to create the jump cut now usually what I do is when I'm recording my videos I will create I will actually insert a pause like I'll talk and I'll pause for like three to five seconds and then I'll start talking again especially when I'm doing a video where where I'm, I'm probably doing like a list kind of video where I'm listing five things to help you, um, you know, make more money in, in, the, in the month of March. I will actually pause in between each point to allow me to create these kind of jump cuts. And even within the point itself, there are times I will create little pauses so that I can create these jump cuts, okay? And this usually allows to keep, especially for the more, se the more seasoned YouTubers always say, it allows people's eye to keep moving and keep them engaged with your video all right and so I do that and so you'll see that um, these are the speech peaks over here for the video and wherever you see a dip it means I was quiet during that moment that's where I inserted a pause all right and so I'll go to the so right here you'll notice that I you know I stopped talking for a little bit so I'm gonna go to the end of that little bit of speech I'm gonna play it make sure it is it is there and then yep so I stopped talking here so that tells me that at that point I stopped talking so I'm gonna move a little bit to the left and then I'm gonna go into edit and hit split all right then I'm going to move my cursor once again to where I start talking again okay it's a little tricky but you can do that and then split it again and then I'm gonna delete that piece of video okay delete and so when I start playing it again now I will have a jump cut instead of a video where I'm actually pausing and people see the pause all right so let's play that it may play a little slower like who will pay you on time and who will actually make you super enjoy your freelance career as career as career and so in today's video I'm going to share seven ways for you you no matter and so that's how it, it works if it was playing at normal speed you would see that jump cut come really really fast um, but that's exactly how you I personally create jump cuts within Filmora 